Taland Open Studio. Lesson 2, Saving Results in Database. The results of input data transformations can be stored in files or in database. This lesson will show how to store the data generated by our process and database. In first lesson we did a process which read data from CSV file. Now we want to expand this process with data storing. We can copy job created in first lesson. First let's create a connection to database. Expand metadata element from repository tree and create connection as it is show on the screen. Define connection name. Choose database type and provide connection parameters. Check value to verify the connection. Now we can retrieve data schemas from database tables. From connection context menu choose retrieve schema, then choose database table and click finish. After this operation you will see retrieved schemas in table schemas section of connection tree. Select student schema and drag it to the job modeling panel. When element will be dropped select team isql output component, because we want to use this selected schema to describe data that need to be stored in mysql database. Connect display rows component with new students component. You can try to run process. Process displays list of errors. The reason of those errors is that we didn't provide fields mapping. Process should have identical data schemas for connected components, or use special mapping component when schemas of two connected components are different. First try to synchronize columns of display rows component. Process will ask you about changes propagation. If you click yes, changes in schema of component will be propagated to the connected components. But this isn't enough to resolve problem of different data schemas. We must add a tmap component. Connect components. Put a name of the output of mapping component when you drop it on job panel. Now double click on map component. In new window you can easily map fields of input and output. You can use auto mapping. Manually map lefted fields. 
If you want to save changes remember to always click the apply button. Now we can try to run process. When process is running in trace mode we can see the data flow. It seems that process read and store data in database. Let's check it. Yes, data are now correctly stored in database. Our tasks are now completed. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com